Welcome to the channel everybody, um, I've been posting videos on YouTube for quite some time now but up until this point I've deliberately not been uh, giving any voiceovers because like most people I guess I really can't stand listening to my own voice when I listen to it back but um, a friend of mine Stuart Smith uh, gave me some encouragement to at least try one video where I do a little bit of voiceover so this will be uh, the first attempt hopefully not the last attempt but we'll see how that goes um just wanted to give you a quick overview of how i planned the route from sackville farm to beckles i'm doing this now a couple of days after i actually did the flight so the data is not what i'm going to use um, on the actual flight but i just thought i'd give you a quick overview of how i planned it using sky demon of course um so starting point sackville farm off to Beckles up on the Suffolk coast. So if we click on create route, take off from Sackville Farm, landing at Beckles, which is Echo Golf Sierra Mike. Create route, and of course it draws a straight line in between Sackville Farm and Beckles. If we were to fly that straight route, um, it would take us straight through the Mildenhall and Lake and Heath mats areas which um, we could give them a call uh, and if they granted us mats penetration then we could go straight through that uh, or of course if we were flying at the weekend it's unlikely that they would there would be anybody there anyway uh, if we were to do that in a straight line then you can see in the top right hand corner that it would be 78 nautical miles um, but we can't rely on getting a mats penetration so um, we always plan to go round it and if we can get max penetration on the day then all well and good so um, just looking at this route uh, bearing in mind I've, I've done this a few days after I've actually flown it so I've already been through this process once before but Barry St Edmunds seemed like a good turning point which would keep us just outside of the uh, Milton Hall and Lake and Heath maps so we can drag the route to Barry St Edmunds that immediately gets us out of any military zones and straight line from Barry St Edmunds up to Beckles doesn't take us through any airspace that we need to be worried about so that part of the route works quite well. The first leg from Sackville Farm to Barry St Edmunds it does take us right on the edge of the Cambridge zone which again we could ask permission to go through but um, from experience we don't always get an answer from Cambridge when you call them up so I'd rather um, play it safe and steer clear of their zone if possible so we need to go a little bit th further north if we can um, and just looking at the route Water Beach which is a disused airfield seems like it would be a good option so we can add a waypoint to Water Beach and then you can see straight away that we've now got a straight line from Sackville Farm to Water Beach not going through any airspace um, it does take us very close to the overhead of a small main hall farm um, water beach to Barry St Edmunds takes us just to the north of Newmarket but that keeps us clear of the Cambridge zone to the south and the military zone to the north and you can see by planning that route which avoids all airspace uh, the total distance up there in the top right hand corner is 80 nautical miles so uh, it's only actually added two nautical miles onto the route, so it's well worth well worth doing. Uh, you can look at the NOTAMs and the weather, and of course if there is anything to affect you, then it will let you know that. Um, having generated the route, you can save it in Sky Demon and bring it up once you're actually in the aircraft. Uh, it also gives you the radar view at the bottom, so we can check to make sure that we're avoiding any vertical airspace. Uh, so taking off from Sackville Farm, we have got the shaded area here which corresponds with this NOTAM. Um, but that, that NOTAM, when you read the content of that, is nothing for us to worry about. And a chosen cruising level at 3,000 feet keeps us clear of any vertical airspace. Um, keeps us clear of a hang gliding site near um, Harleston, I think it is, or Bungay and then descent into Beckles 
Um, there is a parachute drop zone at Beckles, which I notify you on the radio if that is active on the day. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. Fairly simple and straightforward. Um, route to plan, 80 nautical miles. Weather as I'm sitting here right now is uh, it's 55 minutes, so we've got, we would have a strong tailwind if we were to fly this route today. We can look at the um, pilot log. And we can see there that for a true airspeed of 78 miles per hour, which is what I planned for economy cruise in the Coyote, um, you can see there is a tailwind, so we've got a ground speed of 100, 99 and 104, so uh, that would be good going towards Beckles. Not so good coming back, so if we wanted to, we could reverse the route and uh, it puts it up to 1 hour 44, so the, the headwind's really keeping the speed down on the return sector. And you can see here that the, the highest ground speed out of any of the legs, which is from uh, Paris Edmonds to Waterbeach, is only 55 miles per hour. Okay, that's it. I'll uh, stop waffling and get on with the video. Thank you.
Thank you.